Hello everyone. Topic that we are discussing that is tort law. And under the tort law, we are discussing the types of intentional tort. Okay. So today in this video, I will discuss one of the types of intentional tort that is conversion. So let us begin with the meaning of the conversion. What is meaning of conversion? Conversion means something changing the one state to another state, changing the shape, size, something like that. So you are converting something to something. Okay? And while doing that, you have damaged that property. Okay? So that is conversion. Now let us check out what is the legal meaning. Conversion occurs when the defendant intentionally uses or intermeddles with the chattel of the claimant in such a serious way and without any legal justification that it becomes fair to ask for compensation or money payment for the total prior value of the chattel. Total prior value of the chattel you need to focus on. Okay. So, if you have used someone else property say you have used the bike and without his permission and you damage that. So, in that condition whatever the prior value of that bike maybe it is 60,000 then you have to pay the 60,000 that is prior value not the present value. Okay. So, claimant has the right to claim that much amount. Likewise, conversion is an act of willful interference, willful interference, pay attention. And subsequently, an intentional commission of the act which is unlawful and damaging to claimant. So, your act has to be deliberate, unlawful, intentional and damaging to the claimant. Okay? So, now let us check out what are the acts that covered under the heading of conversion? The property is wrongfully taken, it is wrongfully partitioned, it is wrongfully sold, it is wrongfully retained, it is wrongfully destroyed, there is denial of the owner's right. So, in such circumstances, if anything happens or any of the circumstances meet, then it is known as conversion. Now the next topic that we have that is defense of conversion. What are the defense of conversion? Claimant's ownership of the said chattel is doubtful. So you are claiming that your property is damaged by someone, but you are unable to prove that that is your property. Say you are claiming that your bike is damaged by B, but you are not able to prove that that bike actually belongs to you, means you do not have the actual paper of that bike. So, in that case even that bike is yours, but if you are not able to prove that you cannot claim the damages. Okay? So, you must need to prove. So, you have to prove that your bike is yours through proper document. Okay? The next difference is lawful justification of the act that damaged the chattel of claimant. So, if you justify that you did it for some good reason, in that case you are not responsible. Now, the last topic that we have that is remedy of conversion. Of course, like all other tort here of course you have the damages, the first remedy, second one is injunction and the third one is an action for the recovery of the damages chattels. Okay? So, you have likewise three remedies in case of conversion. So, this is all for this video. In this video as you have seen that we have discussed about the conversion meaning and concept and certain circumstances under which you can say it that it is conversion and then defense and remedies. So, in the next video, we will be discussing another type of intentional tort that is unlawful harassment. In the meantime, you revise it, understand it in a better way. So, see you in next video.